There's been a lot happening for the 2021 season in terms of new product. And when we spoke recently with Yamaha, they're pretty excited for next season as well. Right up front, we need to tell you that yes, there are two strokes from Yamaha for 2021. And no, they aren't all just in their utility transport lineup, but there are a few there as well. Possibly the biggest news to hit the blue brand is the re-emergence of a mountain sled with a two-stroke motor. Yeah, you heard it right. And for 2021, there will be two all new models from Yamaha featuring an 800cc two-stroke motor. The length options will be a Mountain Max LE 154, as well as a Mountain Max LE 163. As for the exact specs and details, those you'll have to wait just a little bit longer for, but we can verify this is happening and we will have a full walk around and test ride for next season of these all new Yamaha two-stroke mountain sleds. And you can be sure Yamaha dealers in the vertical market will be hugely excited to be able to offer these to their customers for the 2021 season. Now, equally as exciting is the introduction of a new mid-size sled, the SX Venom. It's the perfect stepping stone between a snow scoot and a full-size Viper. Well, I guess mid-size isn't quite right, as Yamaha refers to it as 7.8s. The SX Venom is a 400cc single-cylinder two-stroke available in both a trail and mountain version. The Venom features a true 7 8 size sled chassis not piggybacked off any other platform and delivers impressive performance numbers across the board. Up front, you're going to see 7.2 inches of ski travel with a full 10.7 out in the rear skid frame and a 121 by 14 inch wide, 1 inch lug hacksaw track that's not quite full size but perfectly matched to the 400cc single cylinder EFI mill with power valves that delivers 65 horsepower. If you compare this to the 2021 Skidoo Sport line, you may be surprised at how it compares even at a 20 horsepower disadvantage. The smaller overall size and reduced weight keeps it feeling quite peppy and strong, yet still being fully featured with electric start, digital gauge package, hot grips and thumb warmer, and a sporty and aggressive suspension package. If a snow scoot's too small and a Viper's too big, the Venom is, well, just right. Now the Transporter line was the first true foray back into the two-stroke market for Yamaha, and for 2021, there's quite a few changes here as well. Gone is the Transporter 600, and now we have a Power Pack Transporter 800 with a 794cc SDI two-stroke running power through Team Industries clutches and pushing a 2.25 power claw, 153-inch length, this is one off-trail backcountry beast to be reckoned with. The 38-inch ski stance keeps it narrow and nimble off-trail and still hugely purposeful with the integrated transporter rear rack and mountain skis, seat, and bodywork. And then on the flip side, for those not needing the power of an 800 two-stroke, you can opt for the transporter light. This is based off the SX Venom platform and uses the same 65 horsepower, 400cc single cylinder two-stroke, but now out back features a 146-inch, 1.6 Camso Cobra track, utilizing a mountain ski, seat, and narrower bodywork as well, as 38-inch ski stance, this lightweight 7.8 sled is nimble, agile, and able to work with an integrated rear cargo rack, much like the full-size 800 transporter, but in a smaller package for those not needing all the size, weight, or power of its bigger brother, but still wanting amenities like electric start, heated grips, and thumb warmer. While the last piece of information isn't as big as the others, it is equally as exciting for us here at Snow Tracks and Super Tracks because it answers a request we've had for Yamaha for quite a few years. And that was to get rid of the tuner ski. And this year, it's gone. And now introduced is a ski called the Strike. This all new from the Keel Up ski is designed to not only give you tunability via multi-carbide setups, but rather tunability with a shim setup under the ski rubbers. Depending on the snow conditions and your riding style, you can adjust the way the ski interacts with the snow by shimming it up front to adjust steering effort, aggressiveness, and steering comfort, or shim in the rear to account for the snow's consistency from soft to hard. We'll have more info and full testing on this setup in the near future, but for right now, we know it has a center keel design, a single unique carbide design to help balance the steering effort, and also the amount of understeer or push up front. All we can say is that we're excited for this new ski and can't wait to get to work tuning it and playing with the adjustments. 2021 shows Yamaha's commitment to the snowmobile industry with many new models making their way to the lineup. But possibly the most important and most exciting is Yamaha's reintroduction into the two-stroke market with not just one sled, but multiple platforms. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.